carbon monoxide is produced when any fossil fuel is not burnt properly. 40 people on average die per year due to carbon monoxide poisoning. If you look at carbon monoxide alarms in people's homes in comparison to smoke alarms, the population currently sits at about 84% ownership of smoke alarms within people's homes. However, carbon monoxide detectors within people's homes is around 14%, so there's a long way to go to actually get these alarms into people's homes. The intelligent CO monitor is a carbon monoxide monitor that communicates remotely. We've installed a SIM card with a communications module into the detector. What it does is it communicates directly to multiple mobile devices and also communicates with a web-based portal. If the detector picks up high levels of carbon monoxide, it still sets off a local audible visual alarm, but it also sends a text message to the portal. Any alarm that comes in in red, that flags up at that particular address. There's been a higher level of carbon monoxide detected. This detector is particularly of interest to the vulnerable, the elderly and the young. These people are more at risk. With the new 3G technology, it's really exciting that there's the potential to remotely monitor these properties, know when there's unsafe levels and get an emergency response to that property. Our target market is the social landlords and large private landlords. If you've got 30,000 homes, it's not practical to check them physically every, every week. Most uh, manufacturers will recommend that you, t that you test the unit once per week. Ours does that automatically, so it wakes up, does its self-check and sends a text message back to the portal. We're due to start piloting the new um, equipment in November. Um, that will start within the Northern Gas uh, Network and then we will roll out fairly quickly afterwards once we've reviewed that initial pilot with National Grid and then followed by Wales in the West. And between all three networks, we'll be looking to make sure that we can target each of those vulnerable groups.